Hi, I'm Robert Bible with the Mount Baldy Ski Patrol, and this skills video for the OEC online course relates to splinting. Okay, now, there are some rules about splinting that I will hit here. First, before you splint, any time before you splint, jo Johanna, I want it on me, please. Any time before you splint, you need to check CMS. CMS stands for? Circulation, motion, sensation. Okay. So even though the patient here is furiously unwrapping the duct tape to make it easy An for ambulatory. me. ambulatory. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Uh, I'm going to go hurt. in here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to pick up a pulse. Verify that I have a pulse. Other options are I can look at cap refill, which should refill in two seconds, but you have to remember in a cold environment that may or may not work. I'm going to ask her, which finger am I touching? Uh, my ring finger? Yeah. And can you move your fingers for me? Yeah. Okay. So I verified that she has CMS prior to splinting. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing after I splint to make sure I haven't done any harm. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there aren't any rings or watches or anything else out here because if there is an injury here this is all going to swell up and I want to get those off now while I can okay now it's pretty straightforward here when we're dealing with a hand arm because we can look when we get to a just hit the ignore excuse me Here, give me your phone. When we get to legs, um, the patient might often have a boot on, and you say, oh, well, I don't have to worry there. But you have to think, a lot of uh, people these days wear toe rings. So you need to make that ask them, do they have a toe ring? If they have a toe ring on and they have a leg injury, you need to go ahead then and take the boot off and get the toe ring off. Okay. So when I go to put this on, I'm going to try to support her arm evenly so that I don't cause anything and ask her to help me. So can you put that in there? Okay. Remember now, you're supposed I, to be now, padding. Now, yeah, I need padding underneath. Now, can you hold that up for me? Now, with a splint, I don't want to shut off her circulation. So what we're going to do when we put this on is we're going to pull the splint down on the cardboard. And as you notice, that leaves area here on top that there's no thing. If their um, extremity is large enough that it sticks out, you have to make sure you put padding over the top because you don't want to have anything that's going to cause uh, circulation to stop. So I will simply go in here and pinch and I'm hopefully not going across where the injury is and then I'll do the same up in here it's nice when you have a patient because it's this helpful I'm pinching the guy and you notice that you try to get the tape to go all the way around so it's sticking on itself um, that would actually be sufficient. She, we would now do a sling and swath on here. If we have some a cravat, there's a position of comfort for some people, like such. And now I go ahead and check CMS again after I put the sling and swath on. <laughs> Dark. Hi, I'm Robert Bible with the Mount Baldy Ski Patrol. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>